I have a question from Gul Rays. I think that's how you pronounce that. Dear colleagues, what is the best way for me to test site to site VPN from home to an Azure site? I have ordinary FTTP internet to my FTTP. Yeah, no. Okay, uh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> FTP or HTTP. All right. Internet to my place with dynamic IP, an ordinary router hub, which is non-customizable mm. without spending money. Do you think I can download Microsoft Server and enable RAS to create site-to-site -site VPN to Azure Cloud? Yeah, yeah, you could. Um, you could also download a free router software to run on Microsoft Server um, rather than using, you know, our RAS. Um, uh, you know, you could create use. You, you could use a Raspberry Pi as a router. You know, uh, mm. a little device and and make it into a a Vietta router um, and be able to do site to site VPNs. It's really not. You know, the VPN itself can be handled a, a hundred different ways, right? Um, and it really doesn't matter what site you're going to. If you're going to Azure, if you're going to you know AWS, if you're going to uh, uh, some other site you might have on like Rackspace or DigitalOcean or whatever, um, it, the, the VPN is going to handle that. Um, and it just has to be able to support the methods that Azure supports, which is, you know, uh, all the, the the normal ones. So uh, to be honest with you, I would spend the 50 bucks um, to get a router that supports uh, VPN natively because it'll be a lot more efficient and a lot less, you know, resource than putting up a server and throwing software on it and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and it's really much, much easier to set up and configure. There's you go out and search for Azure site to site VPN and the, the router that you get, and you're going to come up with somebody who's already configured it. So what's well, like these answer centers like, could you do it? You can. Yes, you could. Oh, why? Um, should you? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> It's there. There's a value in sometimes in in buying devices and using software that was made for that purpose. Well, uh, and they're they're incredibly inexpensive now. I mean, like I said, you can get uh, a Vietta router, which is open source, right? Based off of the old, well, it's open source routing. Um, and you're talking, you know, you can go out and buy them for forty, fifty bucks. Um, it's not that expensive. And uh, I know that. Technically, you know, when he's talking about FTTP and uh, with dynamic IP and an ordinary router hub, um, there's no such thing as a hub for router. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, it's just a, you know, it, it, you want to make it as simple as possible. Um, if you're not really deep into networking and, you know, figuring out how to route, uh, you know, do routing tables and all that kind of fun stuff. Just have a wizard with a couple clicks that comes with these, you know, these devices um, and sets it all up for you. Well, you know, I'm all about the networking, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Social networking, but, you know, whatever. It's pretty much the same thing, you know. Uh, yeah. Because Christian, yeah, Christian never answers any questions. He just gives what are you talking them, about? Answers. What are you talking about? Yeah. I add, I add flavor to the discussions. He's, he's a super, <laughs> he's a supervisor. He's yeah, a, there he yeah, is. yeah. <laughs>